Hi, we're Jose and Daisy Coffee, and we live in Ypsilanti, uh, Michigan, and we lead a uh, church where you are at our home. Um, I would say that it's it's a purpose that God puts in, in your heart. And I saw it as my purpose to open up my house to people because I thrive around people. I think to us, it's, it's like a mission. We go on a lot of mission streets because we want to be around people and get to meet people. And I guess you could say we, we're doing our mission right here in the block where we live. Actually, you might not consider your home a tool, but in God's eyes, he blesses you with things for a purpose. I think God has blessed us to be a blessing to other people wherever we go. So we try to use that as a leverage to help people out, gather with them, find out information if they're in, in needs. It's an opportunity to just uh, bless other people. We, we've been baptizing people recently and I'm just in awe of all that God is um, doing, you know, and what he can do in your home. We have food spread out, the chairs spread out, and uh, we turn the TV on and, and, and go straight to the link for church where you are. Uh, we have the previews, and then when the countdown starts, everybody gets excited. Uh, everybody grabs their food or try to finish their coffee before. When the five minute warning comes on, everybody gets pumped up because we know that uh, praise and worship is coming and everybody gets, I mean, they just can't wait. Sometimes I think little and then God goes big. <laughs> so the gathering this past weekend was just awesome. I mean, just when you think you can't fit more people in, God brings the right amount. It's very rewarding because when you finish that Sunday, you all pumped up for the rest of the week, waiting for the next Sunday to come. And, and I think that's the law that is blessing us uh, through the service on Sunday too get pumped up to the following Sunday so it's just beyond words really of how it makes me feel because it just makes my week it, it totally makes my week to be able to open my home up to others you know and especially to do church together you know we got in conversation with uh, Pastor Jason and Brian and, and, and they said let's do it and, and and I guess that encourages more and say, yeah, let's go out and take a leap of faith and do it. And it, it worked out just perfect. The relationships are the most important um, area for me. I don't have words to describe how much I love these people. And they show that love back. They're very supportive. You know, when we open our home and we say, this is what we're going to do, they're there. I mean, they're just on board. And... I can't say enough about the relationships that you build when you do church where you are. It's just incredible. I had to take a step of faith in order to know where my faith was. And so the very first time I did this was, yeah, it, it was scary for me. There was struggles there, especially in your mind. There's going to be a lot of mind um, games going on there but like the Nike logo says just do it I've learned a lot from that and God spoke to me big on that and sometimes he'll he'll just tell me just do it so yeah. I encourage you to just do it <laughs> yeah I think if you're thinking about doing it it's, that's the Lord has put it in your heart already mm -hmm. uh, the best thing to do is just go ahead and do it and you're going to be rewarded because you're going to want to do it more and more and more all the time yeah. so just go ahead and do it. Go, uh, go on a limb and do it. Uh, the Lord will bless you.